Open a photo of someone you would like to use for this project. This tutorial will work best if the subject in your photo is directly facing the camera. If your photo is in color, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus U. Even though I don't need to do this for this image, but if you have a different background other than white, you will need to make a selection around your subject to separate it from the background. The method you choose to make the selection depends on your photo. For this example, since the background is simple white, I will use the channels. If you would like to use this method as well, head to the channels panel, find the channel with the most contrast, then duplicate it by dragging it into the new icon. Go to image adjustment levels, then move the mid-tone slider towards the right to dramatically darken the image. Go as far as you can without expanding the black outline too much. Select the brush tool and set the hardness to around 80%, adjust the size accordingly, then pin over the remaining highlights in the center. Swap the foreground and background colors and brush over any unwanted artifacts in the background to remove them. In the channels panel, control click the thumbnail of the channel we added. This selects the white areas in the image. Click on the RGB channel layer to return back to normal followed by select and inverse. Now, apply a layer mask to hide the background. This image looks a little bit dull to me, so let's increase its contrast a bit. Convert the layer to a small object, then open the levels and drag the sliders inwards a little bit. Next, we'll create a new document. In the window that opens, scroll down and click on the Print tab. This tab has a bunch of common print sizes. I will go with letter. You can pick any other preset you want. Go back to the image document, then click and drag the layer to the newly created document tab. To fit the image into your canvas, go to Edit, Free Transform. Try to get the subject's head to cover most of the canvas and make sure it's perfectly centered. Go to View, Add Guide. Choose Percent for the unit and Input 50 in the vertical field. 